Miguel from the crypto, also uh, making investments available to, to everyone and bringing innovation in, in, in that area, right? So stage is yours, Miguel. Thanks a lot. Hello, guys. Uh, how are you? Well, uh, thanks a lot for inviting us uh, to participate at, in the event. Uh, my name is Miguel Schweizer. I'm the co-founder of uh, Decrypto. Uh, for those of you who don't know us, uh, Decrypto is a crypto exchange based in Argentina. Uh, we are currently operating mainly in Argentina and Peru, uh, but soon we will be uh, in Colombia as well, hopefully this year. And we are currently uh, expanding to uh, many other countries in the region, such as Brazil and Mexico, uh, not this year, but, but the following one. Uh, we are currently uh, building our own uh, infrastructure, uh, which takes a lot of time. And uh, with the whole pandemic situation, uh, it took a little bit longer than, than expected, but it is what it is. <laughs> uh, if we can move uh, the slide, please. Uh, this is the, the founding team, uh, myself, Ivan Tesho, Jose Luis del Palacio, and Javi Lanuse. And well, we, we launched the crypto um, early 2019, and our goal was to bridge the gap uh, between the crypto world and the traditional world by facilitating the conversion from fiat currency to to cryptocurrency to any person with with a bank account whether they hold uh, us dollars argentine pesos or peruvian soles uh, back at two or yeah two or three years ago uh, it was not so easy to to Convert fiat to crypto costs uh, were quite high. Uh, user experience uh, was bad. Uh, the local um, exchanges didn't offer any uh, customer support. Uh, so we believe there were uh, many things to to improve there. So, well, we were when, when we launched, we were uh, the only. Uh, the only local exchange uh, trading uh, in US dollars. Uh, all the other ones were only offering uh, crypto against uh, local currency, Argentine pesos. So that's what uh, gave us an, an, an edge, a, a comparative advantage over, over the others and really helped us uh, grow a lot. So initially we, we were offering uh, Bitcoin and stable coins. Uh, we are in, we are currently integrated with the uh, Ethereum uh, network, with the Tron network, and we are also uh, developing on the RSK uh, network. So, well, as I mentioned, we at the beginning we we were offering Bitcoin and, and stable coins mainly. Uh, but now we are also offering our users the possibility to invest in the U.S. stock market uh, without leaving the crypto market. So if we can move the slide, please. Uh, and yeah, the next one. <laughs> so um, this means uh, any the crypto user right now uh, can buy uh, Apple shares or Amazon shares or Tesla uh, YOLO ETF shares directly with uh, USDT uh, without needing to convert uh, those USDT to fiat or sending the money to a local stockbroker. And well, this is done by tokenizing the stock shares and trading that, that stock tokens. Uh, directly against uh, USDT. Uh, this has several advantages over buying a traditional stock in a traditional stock broker, uh, where uh, stocks trade against uh, local currency. Here in Argentina, if you go to a stock broker and you want to buy uh, Tesla stock or, or Amazon stock, uh, you need to use a CDR, which are instruments that trade against uh, local currency. 
um, and really nobody wants to 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 track the uh, stock price uh, in, in in Argentine pesos, uh, which are constantly uh, losing value, losing purchasing power. So at least you would want to track the price in uh, in yeah. I was want to say uh, sound money at least sounder than the than the peso. Um, so that's one of the of the main advantages. Um, then trading fees are zero percent. There are no fees at all. Uh, users can buy or sell um, these uh, stock tokens uh, with no fee and, and no and no spread at all. Uh, and compared to local stock stock brokers that can charge up to one percent per trade uh, plus taxes, which is insane um then you 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 can buy and sell at uh, international market price um directly through uh, our our liquidity providers so um and well the, the most interesting feature here is uh, our fractional shares which means shares can be fractioned up to one ten thousandth of a of a unit so uh yeah so users can own uh, less than than one share, one share would say uh, you wanted to purchase uh i don't know 100 dollars of of tesla you can do it this way and in any other way you you would have to purchase at least one share uh which i don't know if the price should be around like 400 500 I really don't remember uh, but th this uh, allows uh, people to 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 buy uh, less than than one unit of of a share, and well, and and the other interesting feature here is that um, tokens can be held in in your decrypto account or in a non custodial wallet. Uh, once we uh, fully deploy the the smart contract to to the RSK mainnet, uh, users will be uh, will be able to withdraw and deposit these uh, shares, these these tokens that are backed by shares, uh, back and forth uh, to the crypto or to their favorite uh, non custodial wallet. So it's pretty interesting. Uh, I believe. Uh, there are not many uh, companies offering this uh, right now, uh, so it's pretty interesting to to give users the, the possibility to also invest in stock without the need to to leave the the crypto space. And so, well, I, before uh, closing, I wanted to make a, make a quick disclaimer here that. Crypto is not offering any or selling any securities, just listing uh, tokens on, on its platform. And the, these tokens are backed by shares in a regulated stockbroker. And while well, this development uh, is done using uh, RSK infrastructure, um, we are currently beta testing with uh, Apple. Uh, Tesla, Amazon, Google, and uh, YOLO ETF, which is a, a cannabis uh, ETF. People can gain exposure to two different uh, cannabis uh, companies in, in the US and Canada uh, through that ETF, which is very interesting. And we will be adding soon um, uh, more tokens, uh, more stock tokens to, to a list mainly the ones uh, trading in uh, nasdaq so um, as i mentioned we will be able to to allow um, uh, withdrawals and deposits of these tokens once uh, smart contracts are fully deployed fully deployed on the rsk uh, mainnet um, i believe this will be coming in the next month or so uh, we are also launching our a uh, new web platform with a mobile app. Uh, KYC verification is uh, immediate. Uh, it's done real time through uh, 
a, a third party service also that uh, scans the documents, verifies that the, the the face of the of the user matches with the with their photo ID. Uh, so user experience is uh, really really cool. Uh, I invite you all to to sign up, uh, give it a look, and well you. You can ping me, uh, send me an email if you if you want to chat or something. If you want to more know about more uh, know more uh, about the crypto, uh, I'll be happy to help. Thank you so much, Miguel. Very interesting. Uh, just more uh, innovation, uh, also regulatory innovation uh, brought to the ecosystem. So congratulations on on, on this. I'm sure it's going to be very exciting. So with this. Um, I think we can move to to the slides with all the information from all the wonderful speakers that we had today. Fran, uh, do, do you have it over there? So people in the call can, can take a look. Uh, thank you, everyone, for participating today in this new RSK ecosystem update. It's super exciting to see how DeFi for Bitcoin keeps on growing and how as a community we keep on expanding the functionality of uh, Bitcoin through Bitcoin sidechains and, and RSK. Uh, I think we have one more slide with links for uh, people who want to get in touch with us. Uh, this is the link for developers, the open Slack. Please, every one of you join the open Slack and help us build uh, this ecosystem together. And again, as a reminder, join the RSK Innovation Forum and join us on uh, August 5th for the next RSK ecosystem update. So thank you, uh, everyone, very much. And see you soon. Let's keep on building. Bye-bye. Bye, thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you so much.